Hello guys, this is another video in the series of how to do simple Mathematica functions at ease and without overwhelming yourself. So today we're going to be finding limits using Mathematica and you'll see how very simple and easy it is to do. So first, let's name the section of uh, the scientific notebook. Um, we press Alt 4 and say limits with Mathematica. This is purely for organizational reasons, the more you use Mathematica and um, start playing with the cell functions here, you'll realize the beauty of organizing in that way. Today I have a match problem from the textbook I'm studying for uh, Math 209, which is Business Calculus. So I took a screenshot with, uh, of it with uh, Windows Shift S. and problem basically says find the limit uh, as x approaches negative 2 of the function um, x squared plus 5x. So first thing first, we define our function. Our function is f of x underscore bracket, close it like this, then set up the rule by pressing column equal sign. And now it's a function that you can manipulate and just basically copy it and hit x and then press control 6 gives you the power plus 5x just like that, close the parenthesis, shift enter and puts it in the kernel and now we basically say um, limit which is our command. Our commands always start with a uh, capital letter and within them, within the command um, everything is within brackets. So limit of, which is what the bracket you could say stands for, f of x and then period, uh, comma, which is like saying as x approaches, which you're going to input it as the arrow, which you do by pressing the dash, which is uh, between the zero and the equal sign on your keyboard, mostly, dash, and then shift period, which gives you the uh, equality, and then uh, as x approaches negative two, and you can see how it turned into a proper arrow as you kept on writing and how the X went from blue to green which means it got recognized as a part of a function. Now close your bracket and press shift enter. And this is it. This is the limit of that function as X approaches negative 2. If we were to do a one-sided uh, limit for instance we would simply uh, we're gonna find some problems here with one-sided limits. For instance, um, let us take, this is not one-sided, these here are one-sided limits. And it's also a piecewise function, which makes it more interesting. 